Hey there, Amara. Good morning. Over the next 24 hours, you're going to meet students from all over the globe, but we do get to start here in Seoul, where we're finding out from students what they're doing to try and fight the problem of forced labor and human trafficking. And I think we have to start with jewels because you can't be ignored. <laughs> Can you explain to me? Tell me what you're wearing here. So our school is an IB school, so we have to do a cast project. And I decided to do a charity fashion show. And this was a statement piece that um, raised awareness for an organization called Be The Girls. Um, who works to better, better the lives of women freed from sex trafficking. And so we did our own bra donation drive and attached it to a modernized hanbok, which is a Korean traditional dress. And yeah. This was a team project. Why did you want to be a part of this? Why was it important to you? Um, well, I was first invited to do this project because I did a really long research paper on human rights in general. And um, I feel really passionately about you know, equality just for humans all around the globe. And so I really wanted to um, take part in this global movement. And in your school, you guys are some of the ambassadors of this. And I know you're going to have an assembly later today to talk about forced labor, to talk about human trafficking. What's the message that you want to share with people here? Um, I want to talk to uh, everyone and despite and talk about how despite sex trafficking being a gender crime, it's important for everyone, including males and females, to work towards um, equality for everyone and to find uh, peace for those people that have been in slavery. And I know that you all have been working on this really for months. So when you've been thinking about My Freedom Day and thinking about what you could do, what have you learned in the process? Um, well, prior to this project, I had thought that this was an issue that only affected women and third world countries. But through this project, I learned that it's an issue that affects us all and we should all be striving to fight for equality. And the point of My Freedom Day is really to empower some of you to take on the challenge that is how to fight uh, human trafficking and global slavery. So what do you think your generation can do? What is your responsibility right now when you take on this issue? Well, <clears throat> we believe that our generation should work towards raising awareness because many people are unaware that this is an actual cause and it's like part of our, it's not just part of our history, but it's happening at, as of the moment as well. So we hope to raise awareness and we hope to instigate a change in our society. And finally, the question we're asking all over the world, what does freedom mean to you? Um, I think freedom is the, for people to be able to make their own choices, no matter what situation they're in, and that they aren't forced into anything that they don't want to do so that everyone can have equal rights. All right. Thank you all to the students here at Seoul Foreign School. Michael, Amra, I'm going to send it back to you with that. I know that we're all excited to hear about other students all over the globe weighing in, answering this question, what does freedom mean to you? We're going to be doing it for the next 24 hours. A really they good are game. so impressive, too, their answers. I mean, I wish yeah. I was that engaged and that intelligent and well-spoken at their age. Yeah. Yeah. Great and, stuff. And, and the neatest library I've ever seen in a school, just Very, by the way. Uh, I agree. Yeah, we were noticing <laughs> the background there. We're like, is that real? <laughs> <laughs> good stuff. Thanks, Alex. Thank you.